Welcome back, Minties. The Uncanny Omar here with the Astonishing Melanie. Hello. And that's what? it? Hello? What? A little more enthusiasm. <sighs> Hello! There we go. That's better. In this yeah. Reviews in a Flash is brought to you by Darkstar916. Thank you. So thank you very much, Darkstar. Uh, it is spoiler free. The book we are talking about today is Infidel. It is published by Image Comics. The price is $14.99, and it is definitely rated mature. As mm. always, this will be spoiler free. Good catch, Astonishing Melanie. Yay! So, the book is pretty much about this young lady, Aisha, who moved in with her daughter to her mother in law's apartment complex. Uh, she is Muslim, and her mother-in-law is not. So there's this, I don't know, I guess you would say racial tension between them, even though it's a little underlayered, right? right? No, they do talk about, I mean, it comes up a specific part of the story. Like, mm -hmm. this happened a couple of years ago, um, and then in the middle of it, it's addressed. Come on now. Uh, it's haunted, just like the story. But, I mean, the, the whole story does have... Um, the theme of racism and different people trying to live together to understand each other while other characters are um, they have perhaps changed their minds or they just never were friendly to begin with. It's an interesting take on it though. It's one that I haven't seen before in a movie um, or a book that I've read. So pretty much the apartment complex is haunted. And she knows she sees things, and there's some disturbing imaging imagery that I will show you here in a minute. Mm -hmm. But she's trying to tell people nobody really believes her. Things happen where she's accused of doing something bad. She, she's sent to the hospital, and then her friend, what's her Medina? Medina. Medina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She comes over and she finally is like, okay, something is definitely going on. We need to. Oh, I really liked their relationship. Yes. They're best friends since they were kids. And there were a few parts where it was drawn, um, the characters were drawn like a child would draw them because oh, yeah. it was their backstory. And uh, yeah, they just, they were both really strong uh, female characters with a really strong friendship. They would do anything for each other. And I, I just love that. Now, the book is written by, oh my gosh, I am so sorry, Pornsack Pichet. Shot Maybe we could say porn sock. Yeah, that wait. makes it sound better. That doesn't make like, oh gosh, that is... doesn't make it sound like something wait, I have. Wait, wait, wait. So without giving anything away, really, it is about a haunting at this apartment complex. Uh, really creepy at points. That I mean, from the beginning, you know something's going on when this creature is crawling on top of Aisha. Uh, at first, you're maybe thinking that she's uh, schizophrenic, but no, there's definitely some yeah, evil with, going on. Yeah, with you know humanoid figure, but limbs are askew and yeah. uh, you know or walking backwards, head upside down, every, everything. Actually, I think the first appearance, no, it was a man standing there, but then after that, it was always messed up. Yeah. Oh, and then the like chant of all the slurs and horrible things to say running across the panel when the the yeah. apparition would show up that really added to the hatred yeah, it's that's a, uh, prevalent in the story. So let's look at the art. Now let's look at this wonderful artwork by Aaron Campbell and of course the colorist Jose Villarrubia. Let's look at how creepy the shit is. From the get-go, I was hooked. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if she having, she's having a incubus attack, but damn, I, I want to know what's happening. So, just, I love the realism that goes into each of the characters. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Michael Lark, or perhaps somebody from the Joe Kubert Art School. A graduate of the Joe Kubert Art School. I'm not going to show any spoilers, but I just wanted to show you some of the creepy imagery within the book. That was a huge selling point for me. There was some stuff here that's made of nightmares, and that kind of were embedded into my brain. when I Because I read this at about 2 o'clock in the morning. In one sitting, I was home by myself, and damn, yeah, can't get this shit out of your head. Kind of a little bit of fell. I don't know if you guys have ever read that. Kind of reminded me a little bit of that. There's other video games that are very similar to that, like uh, Dead Space. Let's look a little bit back here in the back. And here we have some characters just talking and interacting with each other. 
which I think it's also important. The hands in the eyes, right? That was a big Stan Lee thing. If you can draw hands and eyes, you can carry a panel-to-panel -panel conversation. And without giving anything away, I love the way that the demons look at the humans, at their characters. Through their eyes, they have this red haze again. The colors have a lot to do with that. The panel layout, I don't know. I just think it's very stylistic and it's very nice and a break from the norm. Now that you've seen the art, you understand a little bit more about how creepy this is and why. Like I said, I I read it at 2 o'clock in the morning and I couldn't put it down and there were some creepy things that kept I me awake. I could put it down and it was 7 o'clock in the evening. Okay, you played it a lot safer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horror. It's, it's, but I could, and, and halfway through, I did want to just because it, it, it's a little draining mentally. But I'm like, I really want to know what happens. So I finished it up way before my bedtime. Yeah. 9 like, o'clock hell um it's true she does go to bed at night so i think it's pretty cool because just like that the movie get out i think it's a it's a horror movie or a, or a thriller really this is definitely horror uh with a social commentary yeah i thought that was a really cool uh little addition to it it's not preachy i don't think at all i think it just flows really smooth so for me this is definitely five out of five for me four out of five um, You're so hard. You guys thought I was hard at grading books. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Why? No, it's a wonderful story. I um, I don't know. I just didn't feel that that satisfaction at the end. It doesn't have to have it? a Hollywood ending. For for me, no, oh, for you. Okay, no. Okay. okay. I okay. don't want a Hollywood ending. And I thought it was great. I just meant that connection to my heart. So four out of five. If it connects to my heart, five out of five. And that doesn't mean that I don't care about people. Okay, wow. If the story's about caring about people. <laughs> this is not just a saying, therapy session. We're just reviewing a book. It's a scary book. story. They don't really speak to me that much. You're the one who watched horror movies when you were five because uh, your parents thought you were asleep when you were in bed with them. So This is the Uncanny Omar. Thank you for joining I us. I watched Little Shop of Horrors and was scared Audrey 2 was going to eat me. Uh, don't forget to check out our Red Bubble <laughs> shop where you can get Near Me Condition t-shirts and stickers. We can also be found on Patreon if you enjoy the content of this channel and want to support us. Not support us like And does. thank you for the those who do support us on Patreon. It really means a lot. Yes, thank you to our patrons. I'm so sorry. Again, thank you to Darkstar for supplying us with a review copy. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Notifications button. It's classy and cool. It must be near mint. Stay minty!